Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small and today's episode of What's on the Table. I've got uh, a little mishmash of a few projects that have been just sitting to the side. I uh, decided to pick up and work on some of my uh, Black Seas. Uh, these are all American uh, ships. And uh, some Battletech that I haven't finished. These are the last two out of the first batch that I, I, uh, I received that I haven't uh, painted. So last week I was pretty productive, but I uh, got to admit I might have had a little burnout. So this week, uh, not quite as productive. I put Team Yankee and Flames of War to the side for a week and thought I would just, uh, you know, enjoy painting something else. I am the type of painter that um, uh, I lose uh, interest very quickly or I can get kind of bored with the same, same thing over and over again. Um, so I like to be able to uh, hop in and out of projects. So... The well, let's talk about the Battletech guys because they're the simplest. Uh, these are primed in um, originally white or no, originally black, and then I did a white or a light gray to me a primer over them. The thought is I'm going to use contrast paints on these guys, and I'm going to go for either like a really kind of uh, garish, maybe red and, and blue, maybe uh, half of the mech is going to be red and half is going to be blue or maybe it'll be quarters I don't know something something a little fun and crazy uh, so I'm not painting greens and khakis and drabs all the time so I thought these two guys are kind of cool um, I already have one of these this is like a duplicate that came in one of the starter boxes and uh, one of the other boxes I have but um, you know I'll paint them up different and uh, there's no reason why you can't have a couple of the same mech in the platoon so those two guys are um, going to be joining my Battletech forces. You probably will be seeing more Battletech content, uh, not immediately, but um, you know, it, at some point in the, f the future, near rather than far. Jake and I again both really enjoyed that game, so um, you know we we want to revisit it. All right, so with the Americans, um, these are all in various states of completion. Uh, I finished the Constitution, uh, and um, Jake is working on his British now. He's finally with school done, and he's, he's got some time to work on uh, painting. So he's working on his British, and I've got my French ready to take him on, but I can't let him have uh, parity with me, so I need two battle-ready uh, navies to take him on. So I've got the French, so I thought I would build up uh, some of my Americans, so these are three of the smaller frigates and two of the uh, the resin uh, frigates. Uh, like I said, the Constitution I have uh, already built and, and separate. Um, so these are the standard plastic uh, Black Seas uh, frigate kits, but with the um, with the special bow and stern pieces. So this, for example, is going to be the Constellation. You've got the Congress, you've got the Chesapeake, and then these are the bigger, like all resin ones, the United States, and the President. So these are kind of like the uh, super frigates uh, versus normal frigates. So these are typically what, uh, what are called 44 gun frigates, and these normally have about 38 guns. Um, and inadvertently, you can see the various stages of how I'm painting these. Um, I use a, a contrast color, Aragos Dunes, or Agros Dunes, something like that, uh, for the deck. And it, uh, you know, I really like what it does. I don't have to spend a lot of time on it, and it looks really good. Um, so you can see, you know, I start, that's why I prime in white to make this contrast uh, deck look good. Really, that's the only contrast paint I'm using on these. The rest of these are all, all brushes. Then I might uh, go in and try to block in the uh, black. And really, it's just a process of blocking in the black, then tidying up the white and going back and forth. And then the stern is always a special challenge. Do I want to paint the windows? Do I not want to paint the windows or whatnot? Eventually you get into something like that. Um, 
and we'll, you know, this guy's still far from being done, but he's a lot closer than, than these guys. We, you can see like the inside trim, the cannons, and so on. So it's, it's pretty cool stuff. I really like uh, Black Seas as a system. I'm a big fan of naval warfare, um, you know, miniature naval warfare. And uh, Age of Sail has always been uh, a very interesting uh, time period for me. I started, I think, with the old Avalon Hill game, um, Wooden Ships and Iron Man. I think that was my first introduction to gaming in this time period. So Black Seas, again, is, is a cool game. I do have some uh, previous content for Black Seas that you can check out. And, of course, um, once, uh, well, once Jake is done with his British... Uh, we'll have a battle report or two on there as well. So there you go, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, rather brief what's on the table. If you did, please do give us a like and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think down in the comments below. You can also check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. We appreciate you watching, and keep on wargaming.